Hey, the following review is going to be on Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee. Stay tuned. Rodham Spill here, and today we're going to do our second Buzzworthy Bumblebee review. This time it is Origin Bumblebee or Bumblebee in a Cybertronian mode. <clears throat> First, take a look at the box. Now, the first thing you see in the box is no plastic. You can actually touch the figure, which is pretty neat. But <clears throat> you put your hand down here, you can feel the rods. So I don't know if uh, these are going to get ripped off or not, but we'll see. <clears throat> First, the package it says the Buzzworthy Bumblebee label, the Origin Bumblebee, 8 plus Hasbro Transformers. And let's see, there's some art and some cartoonish and some CGI. So you got three different, four different bumblebees. Uh, there's the UPC if anybody wants it. That is a bumblebee with wings. I don't know what bumblebee that is. And on the back, it says Origin Bumblebee, robot to vehicle in 23 steps. It comes with a black gun, not a clear gun. A black backpack, not a clear or white backpack, and five energy rods. Now, these were depicted in the very, very first episode, in the first minute of the Transformers season number one, More Than Meets the Eye. All right, let's get this guy out of the package and see Bumblebee in his Cybertronian mode. And now that we got Bumblebee out of the package, let's look at what he comes with. First, we're going to take a look at the instruction booklet. Now, the, the Buzzworthy Bumblebees are all orange, yellowish. Uh, Origin Bumblebee, War for Cybertron. And let's see, that's how you can have them carry the five rods. There is Bumblebee. And that's how you transform him. All this good stuff. And you could keep the gun attached to the wing and his jetpack, and that's what he comes with. All right, now we're going to look at the Energon rods. Now these are five. They are all the same shape, size, and mold. Let's see. It's well. Does this a uh, hole through it? No, they're not hollow. Or they they're not. They don't go all the way through. They're solid on one side, and they're um, hollow on this side. Same thing. And they're kind of like a metallic orange. That's pretty neat. And you get five of them as shown in the very, very first episode, More Than Meets the Eye. The very first Transformers you see are Bumblebee and Wheeljack. So hopefully there's a new Wheeljack coming. I then we look at his gun. <clears throat> I've never seen this mold before. They're black. It's kind of three-dimensional. And it's got some nice details etched in it. And then you have the jet pack, which is pretty cool. Now I know on the back of the box, they're white or silver, they're white gun and a white jet pack, but they're black. <clears throat> and Bumblebee's jet pack is a five millimeter slot. So you could just stick it in the back like that in car and robot mode. And then you can put his gun in his hand and now you've got Bumblebee and let's see we're gonna put these right here try to see if you can hold the energy rods I have seen this done before but I don't know if you can hold all five let's see there's four all right <clears throat> let's see what we can do with the energy rods before we go any further Five energy rods, and there we go. Close enough. Well, maybe not. But you get the point. It's a shame there's no way you could have them hold these things at all. And if you want, we're going to put some blast effects on his jetpack. These belong to Skylinks. So we'll have two blast effects here, which is pretty cool. And his gun should be compatible also. There we go. Oops. And there is Bumblebee with this jetpack. 
and his gun firing, which is pretty cool. I love these blast effects. They they give so much more to the playability with these figures. Okay, let's put these to the side. I I still I don't know if I want to throw this in the box or throw these somewhere else. I don't know where I'm going to keep them yet. But they are going to be a pain in the neck because you can't store them. <clears throat> now we're going to do some articulation. And the neck does a whole 360 degrees. <clears throat> and he can look up. He can look down. The arm is 360. You just got to move it just a little to the side. His arm goes out there. And he's got more than 90 degree bend. And he's got elbow rotation. And his wrist folds in and out. And with the other arm, we'll do the same. Uh, waist rotation, yep, the whole 360 degrees. That's actually part of transformation. Let's back up a little. <clears throat> and then we've got not quite 90 forward, not quite 90 back. You can do the split. Uh, you've got upper thigh rotation, which is pretty neat. You've got, well, if you move this, a little you've got almost 90 degree rotation and you got a little ankle rocker which is pretty neat and I also just noticed he's got five millimeter slots in his feet <clears throat> so you can use these if you want with his backpack should have brought four but I got three. Oh, you know what let's do this and we'll just all deck them all out, which means he's also uh, compatible with the fossilizers or weaponizers or modulators. All right, and that is Bumblebee. Now we're going to do some robot to robot comparison. First robot comparison, we're going to bring in the other buzzworthy Bumblebee, the one that came with uh, Spike, I believe. So he's a little taller than the other one. And then this is the Legend Class Bumblebee from Titan's Return. So uh, now we're getting up to his size. <clears throat> and then we're going to go G1. This is actually a keychain Bumblebee, which is completely all broken. And then we got Gold Bug, which is pretty cool. And we've got the Dollar Tree Bumblebee. And then the world's smallest Bumblebee, the world's smallest Transformer, which I got videos on this guy, and I got videos on this guy. And this is a, uh, that was a Nestle promotion in the supermarket. All right, this is the Gold Armor R.E.D. Bumblebee. Not R.E.D., this is the Super 7 one. And then we're going to bring in, now this is a Deluxe from the Bumblebee movie. Now, he's a very small deluxe. This is the off-road Bumblebee. And then we're going to bring in the Bumblebee um, Volkswagen from the Bumblebee movie. Also a deluxe. So these are all considered deluxe, but they're small. This guy's more of a legend size with accessories. I never did get the Netflix Bumblebee because I did not care for him. I was hoping they'd have another Bumblebee. And I want to show you Sideswipe. <clears throat> Because I want to do a Cybertronian vehicle comparison. And then we're going to bring in Optimus Prime, which is in his Siege Cybertronian mode. So this is how the cartoon would look if it's in scale. And I think that's pretty good. I think Bumblebee was uh, pretty that much small. So I'm happy. And that is it for the O. Oh, and I told Nana Matt 08. A fellow YouTuber, I was gonna bring in the Ark, give him a shout out, and have Bumblebee right in front of the Ark. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> There's Bumblebee on the Ark. So how's that, huh? Nanomat 08. There is Bumblebee with the Ark. All right. Uh, now some transform him to his Cybertronian vehicle mode. Now to transform Bumblebee. First, we've got to take all his weapon and his jetpack off. And then, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to hinge this up like that. Hinge it down, and this is going to extend out, and this is going to snap like that. Then you're just going to put it up, 
and this will come forward and up so oh, if you push it up a little see and then forward and then just leave it like that <clears throat> And then we're going to rotate the waist. And one thing now, you notice I'm doing it from robot to vehicle. Most of your reviewers will do always do vehicle to robot, which used to drive me nuts. Because if you get them in robot mode, you can't figure out how to transform it. The videos mean nothing. So I always do mine from how it's packaged, and he just had me packaged in robot mode. Okay, now, <clears throat> fold his hand in, fold his hand in. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this whole area, and this tab is going to go into that slot, and this tab will go in that slot, and then on the arm, you're going to have this tab is going to fold into his arm. So, you make sure that tab goes in there, and then rotate this around, and now you're going to connect his arms, and now he's nice and snug, <clears throat> and that's what you got. Now, what you're going to do with the feet is you're going to extend this out, and we'll turn around like this, extend the leg out, okay? This is going to unfold and just fold over like that. And then what you're going to do is this tab's got a slot there, and you got a tab up here. So you just want to move that in there. And this, what you want to do is it just pegs in there. So you got the little tab there and that slot there and that just pegs in. And now you got one leg all done. Other side. All right. So <clears throat> unfold this. Unfold this back. Now you just want to move this. It's on this double hinge right here. See how the leg moves? You got a hinge there and a hinge there. So you just want to tab that in. There you go, and this, you just want to tap in here. Now, what you want to do here <clears throat> is you just want to fold it up. Wait, why did Bumblebee go? And now what you can do is there's a double hinge here. So you want to hinge this up like that. There we go. And then this tab is going to go on a slot here. So there is his leg, so hinge it just on this bottom one, and you just want to rotate this. This hinges on the top, this hinges in the side, and this is what you got. And then you can just plug him in here, make sure everything's nice and tight. <clears throat> yep, he's secure. And then this will angle back and snap in. It's a matter, these are very tiny taps, so. And then once that done, you're going to bring the front of the vehicle up, and this snaps in. Just make sure everything's compact. And there you have Cybertronian Bumblebee. <clears throat> now, he's not as far out in the, I think in the original cartoon, he was a little, his, he was more angled out here. But I could see how they couldn't really do it that far wide. So here's what you got. And it's a pretty good representation. There he is all snug as a bug. See how he did there? As a bug. And then you got his face. You know, these are his arms and his legs. So actually, he uh, folds up pretty cool. Back, not too shabby. Sides, not too shabby. And then he's got a 5 millimeter peg there and two on the side. So what you want to do is you can put his jetpack there. And they tell you to put the gun here, like that, on each side. Or... I think MGO showed you where you could actually put this. Somehow he put his gun in here. Whoops, let me see if I can do that. And then he put the jet, well, nah, it's going to fall off. Oh, right, well. So that's pretty cool. But you know what? You could also, I figured you could do this too. If you just want to stick the gun there. If you're going to display him in your shelf and you want to display him like that, just keep the gun back there. No big deal. And then we'll just throw these back here just to see what he looks like. Like that. And there you got Cyber Bumblebee. He's pretty cool. Actually, we'll put this one in here. That looks a little better. And he's pretty neat. And um, no wheels or nothing. And he's actually pretty, he stays pretty even on the ground too, so you don't 
really scratching that much. And you can take the jetpack off and we'll get some good close up. You got that blue windshield, the little see through, got the Autobot symbol. And of course, you got a little grill. What they try to do is he transforms into his Earth robot mode, but then he transforms to a Cybertroni mode. So it's pretty cool. And you got some little uh, paneling detail in here. You got like a little Y there. You got the one Autobot symbol in front. <clears throat> And uh, not much to say about it. He's a pretty cool looking bug. I like him. And I never did get the Netflix Bumblebee because I hated how he was a parts former. Now these won't fit in here. I didn't like how he was a parts former. And I just didn't like the mold. So I didn't get him. I was hoping and praying they'd bring out a new Bumblebee. And my wishes were answered. And there is the Bumblebee. Now do some... Um, Let's do some vehicle comparisons. We'll just get these out of here. And the first one will bring in our Buzzworthy Bumblebee. So that is out. Those little guys, pale. And then we got G1. So he transforms from this into this. And then we got Goldbug. Again, we're now we're all in our Earth vehicles. <clears throat> Here's our Titan's Return. He wasn't always a bug. Sometimes Hasbro can get the license to use a bug. So they didn't, and here is Off-Road Bumblebee, the other smaller deluxe. Now we're going to get into some Cybertronian modes. So here is Cybertronian Bumblebee with Cybertronian Sideways from Siege, and that's uh, pretty cool. Now of course, they've got wheels and all, and this is supposedly the Cybertronian Optimus from Siege. They could have done a better job of making them more alien, but I mean, it is what it is, <clears throat> and that is all for Bumblebee. Now, <clears throat> we're going to transform him back real quick. I always like to show you both, so let's just zoom out and move this up. Now, first thing you want to do is disconnect the top, and we'll just pull this up. We'll pull this back and we're just gonna unfold that and now we'll just keep that like that. Now we're gonna do the legs. So on this double hinge, we're gonna hinge it out just a little. There you go. And then this, and you got a little tab, a little slot. This just thoops right in there. And then you want to fold this up, put this down. Now the feet is a little different. What you want to do with the feet is, let's get them so, we'll save the feet for later. Let's do the other leg. Come back here and you just rotate it around. This folds in. Unseparate the tab, fold this in, fold this back. Now the feet, what you want to do is his feet are going to be this is going to be the top of his foot so these are on a double hinge so, so what you want to do is just hinge that in ah, and that'll be the foot like that so you just want to hinge it in so this big thing is in all the way to the front as you can get it and there the legs are done <clears throat> it's like I said it's easier to go from robot mode to car mode but when you go back the other way because these you just pull out and that's it now you want to unhook the arms and at the same time pull these around pull these around now you can rotate the waist where it's supposed to be this goes down folds up so you looks like you got these two tabs right here We'll go into these slots, and then this, uh, I'm not sure if these go into that, yeah, there's a little um, etching right there, so you just, like it's cut out for that, and then just snap that in there. This you can move down, and then it's easier to get your nail in, and there's a little piece that's sticking off. There you go, there's a, like I said, there's a little piece right there you can grab with your nail to start the hands. And now Bumblebee is back 
to his Earth mode. And he looks just like, except the, the kibble on the feet, he does a lot better job of his Earth mode than the Netflix version did. And let's see, we'll just put his jetpack on. Now, of course, his jetpack is a 5mm slot, so you can use them with other figures, no big deal. But it is Bumblebee's jetpack. So we're just going to put his jetpack on. We're going to put his hand in like that. And we're going to bring in our big arc again. Ooh. And then Bumblebee is going to be protecting the arc. And let's see. These are. And we can just stand them up there. All right, and that is the Bumblebee Buzzworthy Origin Origin Bumblebee from the Bumblebee Buzzworthy, Buzzworthy Bumblebee Collection. Whew. It's a mouthful of Bumblebee, isn't it? So, again, comes with a cool jetpack and the five energy rods as seen in the very first episode and a gun. Now, you do pay deluxe price. I think this guy was the new deluxe price of $22.99. And he is a Target special. But you can get other stuff down the link below. I have the Big Bad Toy Store. Check that out too for some other Transformers. Now he is a Deluxe. Now again, it's like the Hot Rod Voyager and the, let's just say, Shockwave Leader class. They're one down size, but they come with accessories to bump up the price. So this is a Legend class size figure probably. But with all the extra editions, you pay deluxe prices, and he starts the new $22.99 price point, at least here in the U.S. of A. All right, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. I've got reviews for basically all the stuff I've shown you here, and even this Bumblebee, which is a pain in the neck to transform. That's why I didn't show you this guy in, uh, in uh, vehicle mode. But basically videos and all this stuff, so like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. All right, and as Bumblebee once said, no, he can't be Goldbug. What does Bumble say? I don't know. I may be small, but I get a big heart. I don't know. Bumblebee out.